Hello everyone, I'm Mike141500 and today I'm going to teach you about machinima directing. Today we'll be covering hardware slash software, actors, screenplay, cinematography, and audio. Links will be in the description below for the time each segment starts at. Now let's get started. Hardware slash software. What you're going to need is a computer, gaming console, capture card, editing software, voice editing software, and voice recording software. editing software. I use Adobe Premiere Pro for my editing and Adobe After Effects for my effects. You don't have to use these, you can use something else like Sony Vegas or free software like Windows Movie Maker. to actors. For body actors, if you don't have anyone, or not enough people, you can ask your friends if they have anyone, or you can do what I used to do, which was go on matchmaking and message recent players if they wanted to act in a machinima. But it would be best to make a video requesting body actors in my opinion. Why? Because it would reach out to people who would like to volunteer to act and know what they're acting for. Also, when being a machinima director, Body acting sessions are going to be very time consuming and stressing. Make sure you have the patience for both directing and dealing with non-cooperative actors. Also, rehearse the scene more than once. armor if the other person playing that character is not available. For voice actors, like before, I wouldn't recommend going into matchmaking games and messaging recent players if they want to act. I recommend uploading a video about it. Parenthetical. When they recorded the line, have them email it to you or use another way to transfer it. Next is screenplay. For this, it would be best to make a script, storyboard, and a shot list.
down, giving the subject more direct line of focus instead of capturing unnecessary space for the shot. Only use the wide camera if you need to establish the scene, or such as the location or subjects. A list of commonly used camera angles are long shot, medium shot, close up, extreme close up, low angle, high angle, establishment shot, pan, dolly in, dolly out, and over the shoulder. I'm not so good on the moving camera angle side, but what I know is to use a pan shot to take your scene from one place to another or to follow a character. Use the dolly in for really important scenes like if the character was saying something important. Dolly out to expand your shot. Another shot you can use is a following shot to follow your subject. Next is the rule of thirds. This is a great technique to help increase how professional your shot looks. Picture an imaginary tic-tac-toe graph on your image. It's best to place your subject to where the lines intersect each other, either on the left or right side. This makes the image look a lot more professional and more comforting to the eye than just placing the subject in the middle of the shot. For shots such as close-ups, it's best to place the subject's eyes or visor either on the top left You've created your 180 degree in this shot, then as it continues, you would want to keep the shot on this side instead of going on the, his other side because it would appear that he's going another direction. Or, take two people talking with an over the shoulder shot. The 180 degree is on this side, then do a 180 degree turn to the other shoulder on the same side. While still following the rule of thirds, same with a close up shot. that works. Or you could download presets which already have color correction settings ready. If you want a positive look, go for warmer color correct. Or a depressed look, go for a colder color correct. To take the movie look even further, add a widescreen effect, which is two black HD bars at the top and bottom of the image. If it's okay if it slightly cuts off the top of the people's heads. This is common in most machinimas. Last is audio. Audio is important alongside video. If the footage looks great, but the audio is poor, it's going to lose the attention of your audience. Which leads us to audio levels. Keep your audio within the green and yellow zone, but avoid the red zone. If your audio is in the red zone, it's going to start clipping, which is basically the it starts sounding staticky due to the audio being too loud. Sometimes it may sound quiet on your end, but when other people listen to it, it's louder than you think. This applies to smartphones, computers, headsets, and speakers. Well, that's about all I have to say. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments, and I will try to answer it the best I could. This tutorial doesn't cover everything, but it gives you what you need to know and what you should research. I'll see you next time. Jack it up.